This video is all about the long and short position tools. Now, at the corner of this video is a simple philosophy of planning your trades before you make your trades. So doing the research you need, don't just buy randomly or on a whim, whim plan your trade out. Plan it out. Now, the long and short position tools can be found right here prediction and measurement tools click to open the menu and then select we're going to walk you through an example of how to use these tools now on the chart in front of you we are looking at amd daily and we have candles selected over here to the right is a volume profile so this volume profile is telling us how much trading volume happened at each price level and this area that we just highlighted in the middle seems to have the most volume. So at a price of anywhere from $83 down to about $79, there is a lot of trading volume. So we're going to structure a trade that will bounce off this volume. Now, what we do is we select our long position tool and we're going to click to place the trade right there. Now, what you see is a green box and a red box. The green is our profit zone. The red is our loss zone, and we can adjust this to however we feel. We are going to plan our trade. So let's get right to it. Now, we know our entry point. Our entry point is going to be this red line on the volume profile. If it enters this region with this volume, we're going to go long. If it hits this level, we'd like to trade this all the way up so it would hit this line. And then we want to trade this all the way up to its prior highs here, so this region. So to do that, all we have to do now is drag, let's make sure we have this tool selected, drag this green box to that area. Now we can delete these drawings. And we can really make sure this area is refined now by perfect so we can just sort of uh, add a horizontal line here we want to put it right here I see these two candle wicks right there so let's drag this up even a little higher so when price returns to its all-time highs here we want to see if we can just get out and take our gains so that is going to be the long portion of the trade that's this green box let's zoom back out to this level to these levels here now our short trade is going to be uh, an exit if these levels break. As you can see, there was sort of some support here, right? Price entered this area and bounced, entered this area and bounced, entered this area and bounced. You get the idea. So these levels here, if they break, we want to get out. So we're going to drag this up. Oops, once again, we have to make sure we have our tool selected. We're going to drag this up just a bit, and right there, it's just perfect. So if this level breaks this zone here we're out that's the red portion so now we can visualize our trade perfectly we'll write it in this is going to be our entry point so this red lines our entry point this green box here is our max profit target and this red box at the end is our max loss stop target. So now we've mapped out our trade. We've planned the trade and we can see it right here on the chart. This is so much better than just simply buying or selling. We actually now have done a little bit of research, looked into the chart, thought through our risk reward, and now we can decide if we, if we really want to take the trade. So by the way, you can double click on this tool and you can change its look and feel. So as you can see, stop color, red, target color, green. You even have uh, full control over the text. So that's this information up here. You can have compact stats mode activated or not activated and watch the difference. When you have this box checked, you'll see the, the text goes away. So it just makes the box smaller so we check gone let's actually turn off compact stats mode so that now you can get a feel for all of the stats available to you 
when you use the long position tool. So we can actually now delete this text. Let's delete this. And now when we hover our mouse over the tool, we can see our target, our profit, a 22% gain, 21.99%, as well as the amount. We see our open profit and loss, quantity, risk reward ratio, and then of course our stop. So if we want to adjust this, and if we don't think the risk reward ratio is actually good enough, well, we could try to maybe tighten our stop to bring it up to about two, or even, or this is why we do this. We say, you know what? This trade is not worth it. Let's move on to another chart. So these, this tool is really important for that. It's not so much about executing the trade. It's actually about seeing the trade on your chart. You can now see it right here and plan accordingly. Most importantly, you can decide whether you even want to take it. Don't just buy or sell on a whim. Visualize it on your chart. Study the stats and numbers, the potential payoff or loss, and then decide if you, if you even want to take it. If you do believe this trade looks good and you want to take it, well, you can set your buy order right here off this line. If it hits this red line, which is our entry point, then the trade is activated and you can now just sit back and wait. So there is a planning process involved and this long and short position tool will help you plan the trade accordingly. Now a few more quick points. If you double click, you can also adjust your inputs manually right from the settings. So you can actually enter your account size, maybe it's just a thousand, the lot size, your risk, your entry, pr your entry price, now this is really important because maybe you want to adjust your entry price to be 81 even. See it just recalculated. Maybe you want to have your profit level be 99.99 even. So there we go, so right before 100. Now maybe you want your stop loss to be 73.05. And now you've tightened up this long position by entering in the exact stats that you need to see. So this is really important. You can also control the lot size. And of course, you can also control the risk. And these are very easy to use. You just input the number that you're looking for. Now, we were using price in this profit level example and price in this stop level, but you could use ticks, so you can see the ticks here. And you also, when you do enter in a price, so let's just say we enter in 105, you'll see the ticks automatically update and vice versa. So if you type in 2500 ticks, price will update. But let's bring this debt back to 99.99, and now this is the trade. And so now we get to sit back and wait and decide, should we take this trade or not? What do you think? Okay, let's move on to another example. We'll go on to a chart of Twitter. And now for this trade, we actually do not need our volume profile. Instead, we're going to use now the short position tool. And in this quick example, what we've noticed actually is a gap fill. So a gap fill is when price drops in pre-market or after hours trading and creates this empty space. So like, look at this empty space right here. That's just a gap. And there's an old adage in trading that these gaps tend to get filled. So it, the gap gets filled when price retraces. So you can see it's starting to retrace this gap. Well, now that the gap is filled right here, we want to place a short position. We think that this will act as resistance. So this, this prior area of support is now going to turn into resistance after the gap fill. So here's what we could do. We could go to our short position tool and click find the perfect entry which is going to be this gap fill here right when the gap is filled and click and now our short position tool is shown on the chart so a short means we're betting on the mark on this asset to go down that means if it goes up we're in the red if it goes down we're in the green so it's the opposite of the long position tool now our stop will get triggered if price breaks this resistance that would be quite impressive so We'll make sure that we have this, let's see here, we have this down to about here. If it breaks these highs, we if it breaks these highs, we want to get out. And what's so interesting too in this example is 
Price could not break these highs even before, and then it looks like some bad news came out, earnings, and boom, it went down after not being able to break these prior highs. So we're gonna take that similar approach, these highs, and apply that to our short. If it can't get over those, we'll stay in the trade, but if it breaks above these, we're gonna close. So this red area shows our stop position, 5%. Now for our profit, we believe where it's gonna test its lows. So we'll take this short, we have to remember to do this to get off our brush tool, and drag it all the way down here. And now we can see the trade directly on the chart and we can decide if we want to take it or not. Here's our stop, here's our target, here's the risk reward ratio, 3.9. It's a little better than the previous trade. But the point is we're now planning our trade before we're taking the trade. So this is really, really, really important. And it's key just to getting started because now you don't rush into a trade. You can actually take your time and you can plan your trade out. So remember, get started with these tools, long position tool, short position tool, and take them for a spin. It changes everything to be able to see your trade on the chart. That's what we really want you to walk away from this video. You can see your trade on the chart and decide, should you take this, should you wait, or maybe should you just leave it open and come back to it later? It's really a powerful tool for that, to be able to visualize it on your chart like this and think deeply about the opportunity and whether it's even worth it. So thanks for watching. We hope this tool helped get started today just by selecting one or the other and adding them to your chart. Thanks for watching.